You're listening to the Astromami newsletter read aloud version of my daily horoscope published on Substack. If you would like to read this, please click on the link in the description box below. Without further ado, here is the daily horoscope. The moon in Aquarius, Saturn square Uranus, and the chariot card, making sure everyone is taken care of. Daily horoscope for Tuesday, October 4th, 2022. Welcome to the Astromami Newsletter, a daily horoscope that hopes to shine a light in the dark, helping us all see where we've been, where we are, and where we're going. The Astromami Newsletter is a reader-supported publication, meaning it only thrives thanks to the generous support of lovely people just like you. The two best ways you can support my work are to share this newsletter with a friend and to consider upgrading to a paid subscription. Whether you're a first-time reader or a long-time subscriber, thanks for being here. I truly appreciate you being in my community. I hope you enjoy today's horoscope and card reading. Blessings. Good morning, friends. If you are ready for a reading, you can check out my website where you can find descriptions of all of the services that I offer. If we've never had a reading before, you'll want to start with the natal chart reading. Your natal chart is the base for every other type of reading except horary, so it's the most important reading to have first. As my new teacher says, if it's not in your natal promise, then it won't be in your solar return or your transits. So far, I have found this to be very true. Click the link at the bottom of my newsletter to be transferred to my website where you can check out my services. And remember, if you need a different time than the times available on my auto scheduler, just send me an email to astromommyastrology at gmail.com and we can figure out the best time for your reading. Okay, let's get into the astrology. The moon entered into the sign of Aquarius this morning at 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time. The Aquarian moon energy wants us to think about what our resources are as a society and tap into those to ensure everyone has what they need to get by and is treated fairly. It's the type of energy that inspires people to reach out and help their fellow humans, and I think this placement is interesting since we are dealing with the aftermath of Hurricane Ian and other natural disasters like the tornado in Arizona. It's very fitting when you think about it. The moon will sextile Jupiter and trine Venus today, so these are both really positive boosts of helpful and supportive energies, something we need lots of right now. This is encouraging because it means that even though there is obviously devastation and tragedy, people are in the mood to be helpful and focused on the well-being of those in need. If you are in a position to help those that have been affected by these natural disasters or other circumstances, you may find yourself making donations and giving freely. Some may find themselves unable to help or send donations, and that's okay too. With this moon placement, there is often the desire to help others, but also the reality that maybe the person who needs the most help is yourself. It's a very contemplative situation and really has a lot to do with where the Aquarian moon falls in your own natal chart and what it is activating each month. Moral dilemmas may come up right now as you struggle with what you can do for others and what you feel you need for yourself. Often, though, during the Aquarius moon, one may feel detached and impersonal to the emotions swirling around, or even feel that their own emotional baggage is selfish to consider. Again, this depends upon what this moon activates for you personally. But I feel that with the added boost from Venus and Jupiter, more people will be in the spirit of giving and making sure that everyone is taken care of. Saturn and Aquarius square Uranus and Taurus reached their closest point yesterday of 37 minutes of arc away from a perfect 90 degree square to each other, and they will coast along together at this distance until Friday when Saturn starts to slow down, preparing for his station direct on October 23, 2022. Saturn represents darkness, limitations, restrictions, responsibilities, isolation, impermanence, and death. Saturn also represents structure, old buildings, mines, and crypts. Uranus symbolizes unexpected change, a reality being broken apart or shattered, being suddenly woken up, shaking, rattling, or jostling loose. Both of these planets represent the sudden storm at sea, and we have clearly been dealing with this transit in our current circumstances with Hurricane Ian. Not only the storm, but the devastating realities of buildings that were there forever being washed away. A colleague of mine outlined how this transit has really shaken us up really nicely in his weekly forecast called Astronotes. I encourage you all to go and check out his report if you're interested. Another manifestation of this transit, which I talked about before, is the idea of near misses. I shared a few news stories that I found last month about wild animal attacks that could have been deadly but weren't. Well, here's another one. A man was attacked by a grizzly bear in Colorado, but was able to grab his gun and fire three shots, scaring the bear away. Here's another near miss that I saw in the news that had to do with the car accident. Not only Saturn, Uranus, but also very Mercury retrograde and Mars and Gemini as well. 
a man driving on the freeway in San Antonio, Texas, almost hit a driver who was ejected out of his car after being hit by a truck. The driver and his son were both ejected from their car, but appeared to be okay in the video from the dash cam that went viral. Even though this happened on September 11th, 2022, this is within the time frame of this transit between Uranus and Saturn and definitely within this Mercury retrograde cycle, which started on September 9th, 2022. Also, most recently, we all witnessed NASA intentionally crash a spacecraft into a non-threatening asteroid named Dimorphos, testing to see if they could divert the path of an asteroid or not. We know from the video footage that the spacecraft hit the asteroid, but what we won't know for many months is whether or not the impact successfully changed the path of the asteroid. Was it actually a near miss? I wonder, given this transit, what we will find out in the future. Let's move on to the card for the day. What is the guidance for today? Seven, the chariot. On this card, we see a crowned man, a charioteer, holding a wand and riding on a chariot, or what is supposed to be a chariot, but looks like a wave or a gust of wind. The chariot is pulled by two sphinx heads, lions with human faces, one dark and one light. Behind the man is the night sky, a light with stars. I want to read to you what the little book that comes with this deck says, because I feel that it fits so perfectly. Quote, the chariot represents willpower, determination, and self-assurance in any challenge. The charioteer reminds us to be steadfast and exude self-control in situations that arise in order to ensure victory over any obstacle, unquote. The chariot usually represents change and movement. We can use the energy of the chariot card to stay motivated and controlled in our efforts to attain what we want to be victorious with or the changes we seek. This is an energy about getting what needs to be done, done, and moving forward in a productive way. It initiates, motivates, and pushes us to go, do, and experience, all the while building something new that can support our needs in some way. The chariot is also represented by the zodiac sign Cancer and the number seven. This may indicate that family, home, or cancer people may be inherently tied into the changes you are contemplating right now. Or you may be planning a move, a renovation, or a career change that will take place in the next seven days, weeks, or months. Let me know if this reading resonates with you in the comments. I hope this is helpful. Until tomorrow, Astro Mommy. Today's horoscope was brought to you by the Moon in Aquarius and Saturn Square Uranus. Quick links and resources can be found at the bottom of the newsletter. Today's card was pulled from the Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot available on Amazon. If you purchase anything through the affiliate links that I provide in the newsletters, I will make a small commission, but there are no additional costs to you. I don't share or recommend things that I don't 100% believe in and use myself. Thanks for listening.